Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. Uh, first, the insects that we'll look at are the ones that we'll, we'll use with a, a sweep net. If you don't have one of these sweep nets, it is really good to invest in. Uh, if you really don't want to do the sweeping yourself, then maybe invest in an agronomist who can do it for you. Uh, sweeping is not the most fun activity to do in a canola crop because stepping into a, a big crop like this uh, can be a, a little bit of a challenge. But uh, it's the only way, unfortunately, to get a good idea whether or not you've got ligus bugs or a cabbage seed pod weevil present in, in your crop. So I'm going to give you a brief demonstration on, on how to sweep uh, for ligus and cabbage seed pod weevil. Uh, this is the, the right time of, of year to, to be doing that. Uh, well, mainly for the cabbage seed pod weevil. Uh, this particular insect, your control is usually between the, the 10 to 30 percent uh, phase of the canola, uh, flowering phase of the canola crop. Um, after that, the, the insects already laid eggs inside the pods and, the, and your uh, insecticide control is not going to be all that effective. But it's, uh, it's good to, to know whether or not you do have some cabbage seed pod weevil in your crop. Uh, they are expanding quite a bit each year. Um, it has been a southern Alberta problem, but it looks like it's moved uh, a lot further into Saskatchewan this, this past year. And uh, so this is probably one of the better times to, to assess whether or not you got cabbage seed pod weevil. It's a little bit early for, uh, for ligus bugs. We we'll, Hopefully we'll, we'll find a couple. If we do find a couple of ligus bugs in this crop, well then we know that, well, we should keep a close eye on it. Ligus bugs are going to do the majority of their damage uh, after, the, uh, after the flowering period. A little bit of cabbage seed pod weevil and ligus bugs in the crop is actually not a bad thing. If you find that you just got one or two per, per 10 sweeps, then actually their feeding will help stimulate the plant to, uh, uh, to increased vigor. And so they can actually stimulate to, to get a little bit better yield. So that's not, not all insects can be a, necessarily a bad thing. They're not always a pest. So we're going to take a quick uh, demonstration on how to sweep here now. This is where things look ugly. <laughs> When you are sweeping, you need to do a full 180 degree uh, uh, movement of your arms because uh, that's where all the thresholds are, are made. If you're only doing short sweeps like this, you're going to get less bugs and you might not get a, a representative sample. So make sure that you do a full 180 degrees from one side of your body to the other. The other trick is, is that you want to angle your uh, sweep net a little bit like this uh, so that any of the debris and insects, they will go right into the, the bottom and they won't be able to fly out as, as easily if you s sweep like that. And as well, what you want to do is aim for the flowers to be at the about the two-third mark within the hoop. So at about this height. You don't want to be in too deep and you don't want to be too high. The thresholds are built with, for uh, about this height within the crop canopy. So full 180 degrees and try to get those plants at about two-thirds of the way up through the hoop. Uh, the thresholds are built on, on 10 sweeps, so you need to do 10 complete movements like this as you're charging through the crop like a mad person, and, uh, and hopefully you don't find very many bugs. So, I don't really want to do 10 full sweeps. <laughs> so we'll just do a couple, yeah. So here we go. This is a really big crop. It's worth uh, protecting if there are a lot of insects. Hopefully we don't find too many insects in this one. Okay. So when we're looking for insects, you want to open it up slowly and try counting the little suckers as they're coming out. That's a technical term, suckers. <laughs> Sometimes people will put it into a bag as well. Yeah. And they're the smart ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do it the old-fashioned way. So we had a bunch of flies in there, some spiders. More flies. There's a lot of honeybee activity going on in this crop, so we want to be cognizant of, of their activity because they're good for the canola crop. We don't want to spray it unless we absolutely have to. And we are not finding very much in here. Nope. 
Not a single Ligus bug. Good. Or a cabbage seed pod weevil. <laughs> so in this particular crop, we didn't find uh, any Ligus or cabbage seed pod weevil. That's great news. Doesn't mean that it's out of the woods. Um, for cabbage seed pod weevil, we wouldn't worry about it because we didn't find any. But for Ligus bugs, uh, there still might be some that, that come in later. Ligus bugs, like I said, they, they're going to do most of their damage uh, later on in the season. Right now, they're just sucking on sap if they are present in this crop, but later on they, they could potentially be uh, sucking away some of the yield. Uh, the thresholds for Ligus bugs and cabbage seed pod weevil, um, they, they really are dependent upon what the cost of your, of your uh, insecticide application is going to be and what the yield potential of your crop and the, uh, the, the price of your crop. And so there are threshold tables that are available. Uh, roughly they are going to be somewhere in the, at this time of year, somewhere around 15 uh, bugs, Ligus bugs per, uh, per 10 sweeps. Uh, for the cabbage seed pod weevil, it'll be between two and three bugs per 10 sweeps. So it's, um, but it is recommended that you want to go to, to the Canola Council website or to any of the uh, the agriculture department, provincial agriculture department websites to check out the uh, the threshold tables there to determine whether or not you need to be spraying. With Ligus bugs uh, in particular, uh, particularly once you get to near the, near the end of the season, those thresholds you could probably increase them than what they are considered to be uh, without really uh, seeing all that much of a penalty. Uh, we believe that the, the thresholds when it comes to Ligus bugs are probably a lot more conservative than they need, than they need to be uh, as you move closer to the end of the season. But at this time of year, uh, about 15 bugs per 10 sweeps is probably going to be in that ballpark of, of where you need to start thinking about using a, an insecticide. Mm -hmm.